Hello everyone, and welcome back. I am Finakwa. Uh If you remember in the last episode, we were running around looking at different problems that were arising. And uh, we had discovered that something was up with our iron. And it looks like this guy is not producing anymore, which could be a part of our problem. I think the other part is just we need more production of iron. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and to do that, I'm actually going to kind of wiggle some of these around. Uh, so in the beginning of the series, if you recall, I did say that, hey, you know, we can spread them out and we can be really efficient, but really the more efficient way to do it is just to use the, the resources as fast as humanly possible. Uh, and so to do that, and to get the most output, we're actually going to maximize the amount of, uh, <laughs> of uh, drills we can put into one given little space. I think it's going to be kind of like this. Not really. I'll just be used up too fast. I think three is the most we can get here. And we'll just add that right there. Alright, so we added, we got that one producing again. Uh, let's go ahead and add this one. And that one should work too. And we can add this one up here. Just add in power for these guys. Alright. So the top line is almost completely filled up. Yeah, it looks like it is now. There's just enough room to fit everything from this side on, which is good. But I think what I'm going to do in... well... Nah, I think that's going to be good for now, because uh, this is a pretty, this is a relatively small iron patch. Uh, we're actually looking at running out of this fairly soon, uh, so we're going to want to be keeping our eyes open for other sources of iron. And if I look on the map real quick, um, it's it looks like it might be a pretty fair cliff. There's one over here, but it's not that big either. Uh, another one over there. It's mostly taken up by the coal. Looks like that's that one or this is going to be our best bet. Um, Looks like this one might be a bit bigger, but it's hard to tell. Uh, this looks like it might be a bit, like the most of a small patch. Um, in either case, we're going to want to take this hive out before we do that. So luckily we have some time uh, before that becomes an issue. Uh, hopefully that'll increase... Yeah, you can see there's a slight bit of backup here, uh, which is good, because these don't produce constantly. So it's, it's good that there's just a smidge of backup. It means that we have uh, plenty moving through the system. Uh, and as we run down here, we will see that it is in fact being used. Uh, probably by the time we get there, it's already being smelted and sent back up to the crafting system. Uh, almost. Oh yeah, there's probably the first wave of it. Quite a quite a bit more than was there for sure. There it is. That's for true. And there's probably a little gap and some more. And uh, it's being sent over three, four belts really. So. To be expected, it's a bit patchy like this before it gets recombined into that first one. Um, as we expand more, uh, we're going to see that having these multiple belts becomes very useful. Uh, still not quite useful enough to add like a second belt for the iron ore. Um, but maybe as we... It, it really depends. I don't... It really depends on if we where we colonize and like how many biter nests there are in the area. Um, I don't think that's quite far enough for a train to be useful, and that's a bit down the tech tree. But uh, having a big ol' oh look yeah see that's a pretty small one. Having a big ol' uh, conveyor belt come across here is also leaves you pretty open. So we'll see how that works. Um, for now though, I like where this is going. Uh, let's make sure the power is still kicking. Yep, still fully satisfied. That's good. And we do have some backup here, which is awesome as well. Things to take from. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, a reason. One reason that this is good too is because instead of just being a 50-50 split of like half the stuff is going to get taken out by this first splitter. Really, it's everything that comes in is balanced here, so this should, in theory, have the exact same number of items flowing through it uh, on average. And then it gets kind of shuffled down, so from these two it comes onto this belt, and then from these two it gets 
evened out between these two. Um, and really, it just means that this is getting only a few items, which is good. Because we look, you can see how much steel we're going through. Uh, which is to say, not a lot. We're backed up on this top bit. And we should only be taking from that one side right there, yeah. Uh, if I was thinking in the last episode... <clears throat> excuse my little yawn there. If I was thinking in the last episode, I probably would have done the exact same thing I ended up doing here, where I, I put it on top of this thing. Because uh, I did the, basically the same thing, where I used this line of stuff. And, oh look, we're running low on copper now. We're using the copper so much that we are actually running low on it. Uh, we may want to increase our copper production as well. Yeah, we're running we're running real dry here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's um what do these take to make? Electronic circuits, iron gear rail, iron plates. Um Yeah, we won't worry about automating them right now. Uh, that was one thing I was thinking about doing, is automating those drills, because uh, that would be incredibly useful too. As I start to make more, I'm going to need more uh, raw ma material, and as I need more raw material, I'm going to need to make more things, and just it's a cycle, cycle that continues, so if you just automate everything as you go, it's a lot easier, but I think if we start to automate too much of the iron producing things, we're going to run out of materials too fast, and the things we actually want to make are not really going to work out too well for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and move these guys. We're just gonna rearrange this a little bit. All right, so these things are gonna come like this: three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna take these guys out, take this thing out, and leave one space. And then we should get six on that side too. And that should be great. Down there. Do, 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 do. I don't need that one. Uh, Alright, and then we just need to power this whole lot. I really should just move those closer, but... Ah, oh well. Alright, and that's going to be way more copper than we were producing. Actually, it's going to be 200% more, right? Because we only have four going. Now we have, what, 12 going? So 300%? 200%? I don't know. It's a lot. And you, you can see it on the belt, too. It's just so much more. I wonder if we can catch up to what we were actually producing before. Uh, yeah, so you can see the difference. There's like, what, four things just every now and then. You can see where it was producing it. Uh, whereas now, there's just whole clumps of things. You can actually still see where it's producing, because I put them all online at the same time. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely more. So that's good. All right, and that should alleviate the uh, budding copper crisis that we were about to face. Uh, if we look over here, we can probably see it in, uh, coming into play. Or we have our copper coils here. And, yeah, only these first two are producing, which means only uh, these first two are actually producing. Uh, we're only getting what two, four, six, like a fourth of the uh, of the production of circuits, copper, uh, the uh, electronic circuits. I mean, and I still have plenty in my inventory. Still have plenty here. That's not the drawback. The drawback is actually iron for these things, or is it? No, the copper. The <laughs> the drawback is the output. Although co uh, the iron plates are definitely definitely a thing. Oh, this is this doesn't have an output. That's silly. Uh, that that should happen. Let's do that now. I bet you, you guys were like, "Hey, uh, Fen, you're forgetting something." In the last episode, uh, if I apologize if any of you did say that, I record these in advance, so I don't really know. Uh, I only just actually, right as of now, I'm only on episode seven that's been released. So this is episode nine, I believe. Uh, so that's that's a it's a fair distance and. I'm going to record a few more, and then we'll wait a few days and record some more. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and put this guy down right there. I was kind of thinking I'd have more of those, but that's fine. But yeah, you can remember I was saying, like, you know, I don't want to go too crazy on the iron producing stuff, or the iron using stuff, uh, because then we're just going to be out of iron, completely out of luck. And it looks like we're already at that point in time. Because uh, this is actually the main iron system. Yeah, this is this is this peels right off of the, the iron output. 
Alright, well that's good though. It means that this isn't using like the first tier of iron. We do have plenty of backups for, for our, our uh, components to process. Um, lots of backups for these guys. And yeah, the iron is going to be an issue actually because it's not reaching the belts. And the belts are important to make green science. It doesn't go that fast, so we have time. Um, but yeah, it looks like for the most part the iron gets used up by the gears. Well, not for the most part. It looks like entirely it gets used up by the gears. I bet you it's going to take this from the gears, too. Yep. And then that one. And then the next thing that gets through is going to get used by that, too. Mm-hmm. Yep, same deal. Maybe it'll get to this one. This, well, it won't even, because that's going to get used there. All right, so, yeah, we definitely need more iron production. Um, just looking now. Uh, where we can kind of consolidate things and where the backup is and it looks like the backup is actually in the furnaces uh, at this point we don't need more production per se we just need better furnaces and more furnaces but better is going to be the way we go for now for, you can see the crafting speed on this is one the thing we're about to unlock advanced material processing is going to unlock the steel furnace uh, for which I'm going to need stone brick, so I should actually start that right now. Uh, but that has a crafting speed of 2, so that is a good thing. <laughs> that is a very good thing for us to have. Uh, let me find some stone real quick that I want to just cook up. I think it was over here. Yeah, that's, that's the original one. Uh, probably going to just... Go ahead and throw like a yeah, like one of those. Just get rid of these. Don't need that. That can, I don't know why I have so many steel chests. I mean, I'll take it, but it's just I don't know why I have them there. Uh, all right, let's take this thing out. Um, we're actually gonna take this thing out too. We're just gonna make like a little tiny uh, little brick setup here. Uh, where I'm gonna just actually take this out and move it here, and this one can come out and go right next to it. Just gonna leave us room for power poles. And then we'll just stretch this up until it meets up with this. Right there. Great. Uh, and then we're gonna do, I think I have one more electric thingy, which is great. Electric drill. That's just gonna plop right there. I don't need a lot of this. I really don't. Uh, I just need enough to kind of get the, uh, the furnaces going here. I'm just going to throw that in there for now. And yeah, maybe just a couple more of these. Just like that. And then we'll do probably just some long handed inserters going on the output of these. And then we'll get some coal in here, I guess. Whoa, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, but I think that's going to be a problem for another time. Uh, I just really want to get these things, like, made. Uh, and it's, you know what? It's probably only going to go to, like, right here. Now I think about it, I don't need it going very far. Uh, I just want to make... I have the chest that I need, which is what I want to put right here. Chest can go right there. And then a fast inserter. We'll just make a whole bunch of those. Okay, yeah, and that'll be just where I pop these guys in. I mean, I guess I do want these guys going because I want to get this. It's pretty fast. I want to get this cooking. Literally. <laughs> Yeah, alright, that's fine. Yeah, it's, I mean, for right now, like, I would love it if it went faster, but, like, it's it's really not a huge deal for me at all. Uh, alright, so that's good. That's going. Uh, let's go ahead and make, we can make two of them, because those need ten. And they should take exactly as many spaces, so we can actually come down here. 
and add these in to our current setup. This, the electric furnaces that we will make eventually <coughs> do not uh, have this. They have their double the space, so they won't actually fit in here. So yeah, these back these back end ones can kind of go a little bit faster. Yeah, they're going. They go twice as fast, so that'll speed things up immeasurably. That should help with the backup. We'll let the bricks cook, and then we'll replace all these uh, probably by next episode. In between the episodes, I'll probably uh, take a bit of time and do that. Let's go ahead and start some more research. I didn't actually do that. Uh, yeah, the next step of this is to get the electric furnace. Uh, but I think we want to focus right now on a little more uh, current needs. Quick bar would be good. Uh, that gives me a second quick bar. I can, I can alternate between with, by pressing X. But what I really want is either solar or walls. I guess walls because they're easy. And then I should probably start on the engines. So that way I can get trains and cars and eventually tanks, which are amazing. amazing. With a tank, you just basically just roll over the enemy uh, bases. Uh, circuit networks would be good too, but that's a little more outside the box. We'll definitely do the walls right now. Uh, and that'll that'll probably be good. And then we'll do the, other, the next bit. We'll worry about that later, though. All right, so this is all working, this is all working. Making sure everything is working nicely for the things we have set up so far. Uh, especially as we get the furnaces set up, this will kind of be fixed, this, uh, this iron setup. Um, copper is a bit light on the belt, but it's still getting to the end. Uh, and I should have a whole bunch of these guys. Not a Well, not a whole bunch, but I've got enough. Just take these. It's not quite reaching this. All right, there we go. We're getting a little bit, getting a little bit through. So it's not the end of the world, and we are getting tons of copper uh, wire, which is also, re excuse me, really, really great. I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of these by hand, and I'm probably gonna need to automate these pretty soon because lights are important. You know, you want to be able to see things. Uh, things just, I think it just looks like so much cooler when you've got like the light in the middle of the darkness, you know? Like, you wouldn't even know that it's nighttime right now. Look at that light doing work. Uh, until you scroll out and you're like, wow, this is just a little bastion in the darkness. Uh, all right, let's actually go ahead and light these up too. Give me a little sense of security. I don't believe I didn't light that up. That's so weird. All right, anyway, that's this, that actually works out nicely. Uh, whoa, there's the walls. And gates are next. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be walling anything in, so that's going to be fine for right now. Uh, what else do we need for flamethrowers? I also need oil processing for that, so that's something we're going to need pretty soon. It takes 100 green circuits. Uh, let's work. Let's do bullet damage. That's only 50 red, that's fine. Uh, bullet damage, and then... Beep, beep, how you doing? Oh wow, you're doing a lot of work over here. Yeah, but that iron is a pretty decent strip. It's not quite as solidified as I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like this copper here, or even this coal, but that's, that's interesting. Um, that might be easier to mine. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to start working towards that uh, at Flamethrower, though, pretty soon. We should have everything we need for it. Um, and I can probably also just pocket craft a whole bunch of green science. Like, I can just grab, like, a stack of these circuits. Or two. And, well, that doesn't really help me, does it? I need to craft the inserters, which take, it's mostly the iron, that's my that's my downfall right now, uh, which is true across the map, so that is fine, so maybe I can't just pocket craft those. Um, I don't want to take like too many of these iron gear wheels into my inventory, because then I'm just taking away from my automatic crafting, and that doesn't really help me at all. Uh, it's really just reallocating resources, which is kind of meh. I can't believe we're using all of those 
copper wires. Like, I didn't think we would need anywhere near that much. Like, and that's only on, like, really two and a half of the circuits, the electronic circuits. That's just because the copper flow is weak, right? Yeah, and the creation of the turrets takes a bit. It comes in thicker when this is crafting and then weaker when it's not. Uh, is this because I don't have enough furnaces here? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Alright, so we're going to grab whatever, uh, whatever bricks we have that are not made. Do, 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 or that are made. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, are not made. We're going to grab the things that we don't actually have yet, and we're going to use that for other things. <laughs> what do we got? That's that's decent. That's, what, 10, 10 furnaces? Yeah. We got one more to make one. Yeah, we got two more, in fact. So we got one more clogging up our inventory. Huzzah. All right. We'll just craftify these guys. Probably a good use of my steel, too, if I automatically craft the electronic furnaces. All right, so what I want to do is actually use the one these electronic furnaces to upgrade these guys, or as many of them as I can, and then use the uh, regular furnaces that I get back, because when I place this, I get the regular one back, like the stone furnace back. And I'll use those to make uh, uh, to make another setup of these, which I should have plenty of. All right, so yeah, same thing we've done a million times before. Two there, two there, two there, and then same on the opposite side of the belt. Oops, not there. Not there either. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right, yeah, and so we'll just have our out. Puts. I need more of these. Gotta craft all of them. Still crafting. And I do have long handed inserters, so we can add those in too. That's gonna need to move. That's gonna need to move. I will need to move pretty quick though, because that's gonna be powering stuff. Right there is fine. We'll also move that one to right there, and then this should be fine where it is. All right, then we got our fast inserters back up and running. All right, and then we just need to, oh, we need to do the same thing on the other side. My bad. Long-handed, I need a lot of the things. Let's go ahead and grab these, and then we'll grab some of these too. Just craft all those guys up. All right, so, there, and that's it for us right now. And we'll just add these four in like that. Same deal.